The cutest thing I think that we do is that every time someone leaves the house, we wave. Oh yeah, yeah. we do. Whether That's... it's two leaving or. Whether someone's just going to the grocery store yeah. as they're pulling out, we all walk out. Whoa! As they're yeah. pulling out of the driveway. Wow! Wow presents Thruples for Cash, the game show where Thruples find out how much they know about each other, and for each correct match, our Thruples win twenty dollars. Hey everybody! You already know who it is, Miss Akira Chanel Davenport of Season Eleven, the body yadi yadi baby. And I need you to come out and see me in LA for DragCon, May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Make sure you're at my booth, baby. Mine, because I'm going to have something for you. Hi, guys. It's Derek Berry from Season 8, also known as Derek Bitch. I am in what we call a truple or thruple or triad. It's a relationship with three people. Ours is a closed relationship. We like to call it trinogamous, yes. I'm Nick from Las Vegas, Nevada. I met Derek Berry at a Pamela Anderson fashion show with Heatherette, and everybody thought Britney Spears was there, and I just fell in love with how beautiful he was as a woman, and I had a feeling that he would be a beautiful man as well, and two years later, we started hanging out. We were together five years, and we decided we needed to spice it up, so we got each other a present. Hi, my name is Nebraska Thunder. And I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. We were like, oh my God, that tall, sexy guy is beautiful. And we hung out for about a month on and off. And then we kidnapped him one night and took him home and then uh, never let him leave. And one thing led to another. Nebraska was actually the one that mentioned, hey, I want to make this official. I would like you guys both to be my boyfriends. Seven years later, we're still going strong. I have a three bedroom house. And so the master, we had to upgrade from a queen size to a king size bed. And we all sleep together. I sleep in the middle because I'm an attention whore. If I'm hungover, then I'll sleep in the living room on the couch because I got to spread out. Having a third person, you have a mediator at all times. So if I'm arguing with Nick, Nebraska can step in and say, hey, you crossed the line. That was rude. You always have a second opinion. I would say now that Nebraska lives with us, she probably does most of the kitchen kind of detail, uh, which was Nick's domain, so that sometimes causes um, issues. I'm not jealous of the love that they share. It's anyone outside of the relationship, especially if I've been drinking tequila and somebody even looks at them the wrong way, then I see red and they're gonna get a whole different Nebraska. I'm not a jealous person at all. I think in the beginning there was probably some jealousy with Nick regarding me and Nebraska. Only because I was his for five years. And so I think that something like that took a while to adjust. And he's Cuban, so we call it the Cuban Missile Crisis, and it can happen at any time. Sometimes somebody's out of town, so two of us are going to dinner, and it's like date night for two. But mostly, it's usually always the three of us. We really do everything together. Another question that we get asked often is if we would ever have a fourth. And I think that we're good on three. They fulfill me, they're everything that I need. But also because Derek and I both do drag, it's like we have five personalities in the house. It's enough. I think we know each other very well. We see each other every single day, we work together. We're always working on costumes and hair and wigs and sometimes my paintings and they're helping me frame my artwork to sell. If there's something I don't know about them, then it's probably because we've never talked about it. I know Derek and Nick like the back of my hand. Let's play. If Derek wasn't a queen, what would his profession be? Ooh, uh, if I wasn't a queen, I would still be an actor. Does that count? Yeah, bitch, it does. It does. It does yeah? count. I knew it. I knew I got this right. Yes. What kind of actor did you want to be? What kind of actor? Yeah. A porn actor. Uh, no. Bitch, I said an actor. But I also added, although he comes up with a new profession <laughs> every week. <laughs> because That's true. Because he wants to learn Mandarin. I want to be a Pilates instructor. I do. I'm a little bit surprised because for me, I always thought that you wanted to be a Disney character. Well, that's an actor. Oh, okay. Yay, I act like Disney characters. You got $20. Yay! Oh my God, I want to thank the Academy and uh, I want to thank RuPaul. What is Derek's favorite Britney song? Oh, Toxic. 
Hands down toxic. It's the reason I moved from Hollywood to Vegas. I was driving down Lancashire Boulevard and I was crying and listening to the radio and saying, I don't want to leave my dreams. I don't want to move if it's not right for me. I need a sign from the universe and toxic came on the radio and I started laughing and it turned my tears into happy tears. If you guys did say toxic, then you better have said work bitch. Then we're gonna have toxic energy yeah, for the rest of the- toxic relationship. I said toxic. Woo! I mean, I have been with you for almost seven years now, so. Yes. And the taste of your lips, I'm on a ride? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your toxic gun, I'm slipping under. Ooh, she knows lyrics now. Although my favorite Britney song is Gimme More. I say that Dave Barry's favorite Britney song is Toxic! Woo! Woo! Yeah, that was an easy one. Hey, thanks for getting that right, guys. Don't thank me yet, because the next one I definitely got wrong. Oh Whoops. no, yeah. what's the next one? What is Derek's most irrational fear? Oh God. Uh, okay. Being burned alive or drowning or getting eaten by a shark. So I would have to say Drowning because I'm getting eaten by a shark. Oh, you've never shared any of these yeah, with us. Yeah, I don't know who you're sharing. Your most with. irrational fears. My most most irrational. Well, isn't that a fear that's like not realistic? I'm scared of. Not realistic. What do you think his most irrational fear is? Derek's most irrational fear is DP, <laughs> which stands for double penetration. That's only because I can't imagine when two become one. Double the fun. I'll talk about the Spice Girls for a minute. <laughs> Double you, the fun. You love that song. To become one. I thought Derek's most irrational fear was that Britney Spears would not really love him. Because oh. I think Britney loves Derek. So my most uh, irrational fear is getting eaten by a shark while getting DP'd while in front of swimming Brittany. with Britney. <laughs> oh my God, everyone wins. You got $40. I'm happy with two out of three. I told you guys before I was so excited about that. It's Nick's turn. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh, my turn. Who's the messiest at home? <laughs> oh no, you guys are trying to get me in trouble. Um, if you say me, it's over. This was so easy. I think we all know the messiest at home is probably Nebraska. Woo! Just because she's, she's still learning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I'd say <laughs> no. she's the messiest no. because yes. no. imagine she no. just learned drag yep. within our household. So Bathroom. of course, just learned drag. she had to find a way to... I've been doing this for almost three years now. Yeah, yeah you, you learned it in our it. bathroom. The more experience I'm you saying. have with something, the cleaner you get when you do it. Yep. You know. I agree. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm a military queen and when I do my Second. makeup, it looks like a war zone. Mm -hmm. But the real messy bitch mm -hmm. in the house is Derek because <laughs> he starts projects all day long and doesn't finish them and leaves everything everywhere. We're always picking up laundry that's laying around. You leave your panties in the floor. That's because I have the smallest closet of the three you of us. Do. How old was Nick when he had his first gay kiss? Oh, I didn't get this right. Ooh. And be honest. This is gonna be crazy because I did other things before I had my I first kiss. It. I was actually 21 years old <gasps> when I had my first oh, kiss. Oh, the magic of the kiss. 21, the first gay kiss. And Madonna Sky Fits Heaven was playing. I remember. On the radio at the bar and nightclub that I was at. Well, I said 12, like a normal person. You said. What kind of horror do you think said I am? Five. What? Wow. The. I know I was doing other you things. You know what's that, so crazy? And that's what I hold knew. Hold on, you know, that was my first Whoa. guess. Five? And then I was like, no, Oh, that's why stupid. didn't you say five? I almost put five. The first thing so ever young. with a guy was 14? Um, yeah, because you know, you're young, you're experimenting. No, your I thought you had like, a little neighbor kid. Yeah, my sister's ex-boyfriend. It wasn't five. No, 14. I knew once I had the kiss, I was gay. I was uh, 19. I'm surprised you didn't know when you that you were gay. Ooh, the magic in the kiss seals the deal. Yeah. Who's the horniest? Oh God. I think all three of us know I'm the horniest. I'm <gasps> the Scorpio. Ooh, look what I put oh. himself, Scorpio. It's true, I'm a Scorpio. I'm an artist. I need inspiration daily. Yeah. I even put Scorpio, I knew it. That's crazy. I knew you'd wow. say you, and it's I knew true. you'd They're say Scorpio. They're always like, again? Yeah. You got another 20. Woo! Now for Nebraska. If Nebraska had to be named after another state, what would it be? It would. It wouldn't. It would be Nebraska, 100%. I would keep it. Never mind. Never mind. That's never mind. It would be California. It would be California. Oh! 
Because that's where I'm originally from. Yay! And you want to know why I said California? Because I knew, I thought you'd want to take Nevada. There's already a Nevada. And I knew you would want New York, but. Uh, New York, Tiffany Pollard mm -hmm. is one of my idols. Yeah. I love her to death. And she is an honorary Thunder. Maybe, so why not be no. New York Thunder? Could never, she's already. New York uh. is the best New York that there is. Biggs, Alaska I knew is it. the best Alaska there is. Yay. I could never compete with them. I knew it. I gotta be in my own lane, baby. Oh, and I thought it would even be cute if it was Cali. Cali. Yeah, but supermodels go to New York. I know, but I know, it's baby, taken. But to, uh. baby. I get you, boo-boo. Thanks, baby. I get you, boo-boo. Buzz and buddies. What is Nebraska's biggest pet peeve? Um, Probably one of my biggest pet peeves is not getting my way. Your pet peeve, though. Yes, what do you tell us that you can't stand? God, uh, I feel like that's a laundry list. What's your well, pet I have, the, uh, the, I'm getting close. <laughs> Besides from laundry, what's your biggest pet peeve? I don't know. Okay, I think mine kind of falls under that. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know if, Nick, let's raise it at the same time and then we can discuss why we think that this is right. One, three. two, three. Trolls? Yes. Yeah, hates the online Nick. trolls. Like, get the oh, out of here. Oh my God. Blocked. Okay, micromanaging, I think, fall, Hello. falls under that. Yeah, yeah. Not getting your way. Mm -hmm. I so, hate when people try to tell I me put. how to do something and I already know it and they think they're giving me uh, advice mm -hmm. and I'm not, I, it is, I don't, no solicitors. If you try to tell you anything, mm -hmm. pissed. Yeah. Which is obviously not getting your way. And trolls, I could give the trolls that's get yeah i would never if have put trolls anybody even says something remotely that i perceive as slightly inappropriate i block them i hear a bitch about the trolls way more than no else. you do yeah no no, no. no. it's right. daily it, just when you were doing laundry i asked if you put soap in and i this is yesterday and i said okay, how much we don't need to give examples. no I, we want examples and i said how much and you go, uh, like a quarter. And I'm like, okay, like a, well, which cup? A quarter cup, which one? Didn't even use a cup. Just poured the laundry detergent no, I, in. Eyeballed a quarter. I know, but you can't eyeball a quarter if you aren't using a cup. Anyway, that was one that just most recently happened. What food could Nebraska not live without? Um, I think that's easy. I think it's tacos. Ah! Tacos, 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 Winner! tacos. So I have to abstain from carbs yeah. a lot because I gotta, as a, a model Nick. and a drag queen, I have <gasps> to like be you on just my A game. Caught that, cheers. When I don't have a show for a while or an event for a while, I'll overdose on tacos and go into a yeah, taco. Yeah, we're not overdosing on my taco. <laughs> Is it Taco Tuesday? <laughs> this question's for all of you. Who would die first in a horror movie? In three, two. One. Woo, Nick! Woo! You put so Nick easy. instead yeah. of me? Yeah. <laughs> because I'm scared of everything. Oh I my hate gosh. scary movies. And these two, that's all they want to I do. love watching scary movies. We get into, movies. wait, but we get into scare competitions yes. at home where we scare the f out of each other. Mm -hmm. And Nick gets so pissed off, especially if he's in the room or can hear it because he'll yes. get scared too. If he, he calls it jeopardizing me. Je oh my God. When in the Bahamas, we were in the Bahamas. I wasn't allowed to touch him. I went like yeah. this. They're not allowed to scare me. Yes. Jeopardizing, jeopardizing you. you. People die from being scared. It's not funny. You won a hundred dollars. Hey! The double, triple, yes. count this, quadruple. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here you go. 20 for you. Okay. 20 for you. Thank you, baby. And 60 Ooh. for Derek. We know how that goes. Yay! Shots for everybody later tonight. At least we all got the last one right with yeah. Nick. Even Nick picked himself. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, you guys, Nick knows it's you true. guys know me. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year!